Hey, show me from Overdrive, and uh, that is one of my favorite cruisers. Well, a version of one of my favorite cruisers. This is the Indian Chieftain Dark Horse. You can tell it's a Chieftain from that uh, enormous and extremely distinctive fairing. If you remember uh, the fairing when it first came out, they said was inspired by the streamlined trains uh, uh, from. Um, earlier and I happen to be a fan and it looks really good. The black chrome version still looks spectacular actually and as much as I thought that the uh, black version would be subtle because all the chromes disappeared, it's not. You still get every eyeball there is in a three mile vicinity as you're riding along. So it's, it's, but frankly the Chief to me is perhaps the best cruiser I've ever ridden. Overall the level of finish, the quality, all of that on this is just um, incredible and the Dark Horse really isn't an exception. It's called the Dark Horse because well it's all black and there's hardly any chrome on it so the chrome is basically restricted to the pipes, uh, the diamond cut finish on the fins, the edges of the rims and some of these uh, little bits and bobs on the uh, hard bags. So this is a 1811cc engine, it's called the Thunderstroke, uh, makes about 75 PS of power, about 140 Nm of torque if my memory serves, about 300 kilos overall. So not a light motorcycle but you'd be surprised at how uh, wieldy the motorcycle is, how easy is it to ride. Let me run you through the uh, instrument cluster quickly. So you see that phone mount there, I think that's an optional thing. Uh, I'm not sure that that's standard treatment at all. Uh, at the back of that is a speaker. So this thing has a music system, controls are in here. Uh, and you can uh, effectively listen to music. And I've heard uh, somebody else, not me, turn it up really loud and it sounded really good. Uh, but honestly, music on motorcycles is not my thing. I think the engines are the best music system you need. Uh, that's the rev counter. Um, uh, that's, sorry, that's the speedometer. This is the rev counter with the fuel gauge and what Indian do is they keep it really clean. So let me just turn this thing on. Uh, a little KMPH uh, marker comes up there and that's all there is that indicates that this is kilometers an hour which means uh, bit switching between miles an hour, kilometers an hour. They've just cleaned up that idea. And if you look in here, let me just refocus. So you can see there's a time readout, there is a, a temperature readout uh, and there's strip meters and all of that kind of thing. It's a fairly comprehensive set of meters, very easy to write, uh, uh, read simple on off switch almost like a computer that's the light uh, switch for the uh, extra lights the ones that flank the headlight and this is my favorite feature on this which is this is a button which unlocks uh, the hard bag so if i were to unlock this you basically hit that button and you basically open like that so this particular thing i think has just come back from a long ride so it's got a couple of pieces of trim and a bottle of petrol for some reason uh, and on the other side i have it open just to show you how much space there is so that's my krieger with for the day uh, that's my <laughs> that's my walking stick Yes, my walking stick and you know, whatever bag. But if you look at it, that's about the size of the bag and it goes in there pretty neatly. And, uh, and the other thing is my visor. So it's a pretty spacious set of bags. They're well made, they don't really rattle. And I've ridden them over some fairly bad terrain and I've actually completely failed to rattle them. So I know that this is an extremely well made motorcycle and it goes really well. Uh, similarly, handling, uh, very clean, very predictable, very trustworthy. Uh, and it's uh, more friendly than you think. So you'll be taking U turns with your feet up very, very confidently, very, very fast. Uh, another thing that you'll really love about this bike is the ride quality. Just like all the Chiefs, it has incredible ride for what it is. Um, it absorbs holes that no cruiser should be absorbing and it does a fantastic job of them. I've hardly ever scraped it on speed breakers either. So in that sense, it's an extremely accomplished cruiser. The price for this uh, Chieftain Dark Horse falls on the high side of 30. I think it's 31 odd uh, lakhs ex showroom Delhi. Uh, which is not an uh, inexpensive cruiser, but I'm telling you, if you're in the market for a cruiser, take a good, long, hard look at the Indian Chief line because they are some of the best made, best feeling, uh, best handling and best ride quality you can buy in the cruiser segment right now. This is the Indian Chief, Dark, Chieftain Dark Horse.